how to cancel pending transaction on metamask hello everyone welcome to our channel and let's see how we can do it so for that just open up your metamask and first of all we need to do one setting so for that just click on the three dots at the top over here and you will find the settings option just click on it then go to advanced section over here you need to scroll down scroll down a little bit and you will be able to find this section called customize transaction nonce make sure that you are looking at the correct one and simply turn it on after that just get back you don't have to save anything at all as it will be saved on its own after that either you can go on activity and click on that particular transaction where your transaction got failed or simply you can go on ether scan or bsc scan depending on the network that you are on so if your transaction was on ethereum blockchain then you need to open up this uh, ether scan or if your transaction was on binance blockchain then open up bnb bsc scan so this way you would be able to open up your account so what you have to do is just copy your address of your metamask and paste it on ether scan or bsc scan to open up your account let me do it again in order to make you see how it actually works so this is how it will appear now i will just paste my address and click on search and this way uh, i will be able to open up my account wait for it to load and this is how it will appear now under the block section you will be able to see pending on your transaction so just simply open up that particular transaction hash where it says pending so suppose it was saying pending over here so i will just open this one and this way i will be able to open up the transaction details of that particular transaction over here it is written success but for you it might be written as pending then just scroll down and click on this option of click here to see more now you will be able to see this option of nonce make sure to copy this nonce value then go back to your metamask account let me do it from here and what we have to do is just we have to send one more transaction of zero value in order to make our previous transaction pass through so let's click on send let me first copy the my address and click on send let's send it to ourselves it's of zero value then we will select next now in the nonce uh, we will be typing the same uh, nonce value that we just uh, that we just had on our pending transaction so in our case it is 182 so we'll just simply type 182 over here and then just simply click on confirm and this way you would be able to cancel your transaction or make your transaction pass through and it is of zero value so it will only cost you just the transaction fees and that's how you do it i hope this video was helpful make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos